Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice systems of equation to find x plus y? Here, yeah, let's leave this as equation one and this as equation two. Then, from equation one here, we have x squared minus y squared equals to 40. Then, here on the left hand side, what we have can be written as x plus y into bracket x minus y then equals to 40 from here the next step here let's take the square on both sides that this here we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y all square from here then equals to 40 squared from here then on the left hand side here this follows from we have a b raised to power n here the same thing as a raised to power n times b raised to power n that is what we have here can be written as x plus y squared then multiply by x minus y squared equals to 40 squared from here then when we expand this bracket here the first one here gives us x square plus 2xy plus y squared and also we expand this and this gives us x square minus 2xy plus y squared close bracket equals to 40 squared that is we can also rearrange this and uh, write this as x square plus y squared plus 2xy then also here we have x square plus y square minus 2xy then equals to 40 squared on this side then here we can let x square plus y square represent a letter so let x square plus y square be equals to p and also let 2xy be equals to q then we can write this equation in terms of p and q that is here we have p plus q then into bracket here we have p minus q then equals to 40 squared from here that is from here this is same thing as difference of two square which is p square minus q q square equals to 40 squared now from what we have here we can substitute back the value of p and q and we have x square plus y square as p then all squared then minus q which is 2xy all squared here equals to 40 squared from here then here we have x square plus y square all squared then minus here from equation 2 x y is given as 99 then we can substitute the value of x y and here give us 2 times 99 then squared equals to 40 squared on this side that is the square here affects 2 and 99 and this gives us x square plus y squared all squared then minus here we have 2 squared times 99 squared from here then equals to 40 square same thing as 1006 100. Then what we have here same thing as x square 
plus y squared r squared then minus 4 times 99 square we have 10,000 it's on one from here then equals to 1600 on this side and then when we multiply this this becomes x squared plus y squared r squared then minus 39,204 here which is equals to 1600 on this side then taking minus 39,204 to that side become plus and we have x squared plus y squared all squared now equals to 1600 plus 39,204 from here that is here we have x squared plus y squared all squared then equals to this becomes 40,804 the next step from here we take the square root on both sides that is the square root on this side and also the square root on this side square cancel square roots here and we have x squared plus y squared now equals to plus or minus 2 around 2 from here then let's recall since we are finding x plus y from the identity x plus y all squared expansion here becomes x squared plus y squared then plus 2xy then here same thing as x plus y all squared then equals to here we can substitute what we have as x square plus y square which is plus or minus 2 around 2 here then plus 2 times xy from equation 2 xy is 99 then what we have here becomes x plus y all squared now equals to 2 times 99 here we have 198 then plus or minus 2 around 2 from here that is here we have two possible cases which are x plus y all squared equals to 198 plus 2 around 2 or we have x plus y all squared equals to 198 minus 2 and 2 that is from here on this side we have x plus y all squared equals to 400 from here then taking the square root on both sides here we have square root on this side also square root on this side square cancel square root here we have x plus y equals to plus minus 20 here which implies we have x plus y equals to 20 or x plus y equals to minus 20 now solving on this side as well we have x plus y all squared equals to minus 4 from here and when we take the square root on both sides we have the square root on this side also the square root on this side here yeah, square cancel square root and we have x plus y equals to plus or minus 2i from here that is here also we have x plus y equals to 2i or we have x plus y equals to minus 2i which are two complex solutions here so all together we have four possible cases of x plus y here. and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye
for now.